Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So this video once again is part of our playlist dedicated to our Power BI course. And this specific video is it's probably gonna be a, more of a short one, but I just realized we've been working with our report in its current format for a while now. And I thought it was worth just maybe a two or three minute video just to have a tidy up and just show you some of the uh, ways I format um, a report just to give you a basic template play uh, which is hopefully of use to you. Uh, hopefully that will also give us a more formatted uh, report to use going forwards. So in terms of the layout of our page you can see we've gone with the format of having our drop downs available at the top of the page or more aptly named our slices and we've got a number of visuals and some obviously uh, we'll call them KPIs or overall calculations down the side here which not only doesn't look the most professional, but of course, yeah, isn't a very great layout. So what we're gonna do is, like I said at the beginning, so apologies for repeating myself, is just have a play around with the layout and hopefully you might get some ideas of how you would like to lay out your report. So what I'm gonna do is let's just move uh, our current column chart to there and let's go with our pie chart on the far left here. We've got currently, um, our legend down the right hand side. For pie charts, again, depending on how many um, you have, uh, I like to just have the legend shown across the top here because I feel it also helps reduce the width of the visual itself. So we're going to formatting legend and rather than being center right, I'm gonna to go top center, just so like that. And what we can do is obviously condense this graph down there as well. Of course, if we make it a bit bigger, uh, you can see the pie chart itself has gone bigger as well but we'll leave it there for now for the time being. We can then put this visual in the middle there, so our column chart. Um, I might in later videos or in the background uh, update our data because as you can see, we're, it's a bit boring. <laughs> it's a bit consistency across months where ultimately you expect to see a bit more uh, fluctuations, we say, when you look at tasks over a period of time. We'll then get rid of, well no, not, let's not get rid of them, we can obviously replace them probably in a later video. So we'll just move these down the road for the time being. Uh, and the layout I quite like is having a few uh, KPIs as such along the top, followed by maybe two rows of visuals. So we'll drag these down, and let's say we want to have first have our total re revenue for Nebula. Uh, we want priority with high, low quali qu <laughs> quantity, easy for me to say, uh, and all those with a high, medium priority. So let's bring those there. Initially, they're quite big, aren't they? So let's, because they're all the same type of visual, we can select all three. And let's have a play around with the call out value. So currently we're working with the, the DIN font. Um, I like to use that for numbers, whereas I like to use the Sergio UI for our values. And let's, one of these, these are numbers, sorry, I don't know what I'm doing. Let's leave them as DIN. However, let's bring the size down ever so slightly. So let's maybe make these 18. And again, with all these visuals, you just have to play around with them a few times to find you know, the look and feel that you're really after. And rather than having the category label below, I'm gonna just convert this to a title. So. We'll go to our category label. Um, let's go to general uh, title and turn on title. And in here, I'm going to call this um, call this uh, high uh, high priority. So slightly renaming this high priority uh, with low quantity. And I think as I touched on before. Take real no reference of the, the visuals you use at the moment. Obviously, all these measures were put together uh, just as examples, but in future videos, we can use them as ones to improve upon. Font, I'm now going to change that to uh, my prefer preference, and I'm going to probably go with a size maybe 11. Yeah, 11 probably works in this case, and let's just align the title in the center there. Uh, we can now get rid of, actually, we could do title, Let's do our background color, a nice, um, no, what have we got? We've got blue there. Uh, what else we've got? Let's go for a dark blue with white often seems to work. Yeah, and we can maybe make the font size 10 now because we've got that. And then what we can also do here is turn off our category label, so the value you see below, and then just initially make this the width that we need. So we can do that. And we could put a border on here as well, which we can do by going into effects visual border and let's make this the same title as our header there 
So we get something like this. Maybe black would probably look better. So effects, visual border, and we'll change that one to black. And yeah, we'll, we'll leave it like that for now. So now that we've got our formatting here happy, we can simply go Format Painter and then click on our other visuals. And you can see it's got rid of the category label and it's done all the formatting. However, obviously we've not entered a title for this one. So total revenue for Nebula. So we we'll just go into general title. And here we can go total revenue. Uh, let's put in brackets Nebula, like so. And this one, we can obviously make it the width that we need there. And lastly, we've got this one here. So let's copy our formatting one more time. Paste that onto there and let's go into general title and change this. And I forgot what it was already. Uh, high or medium priority. So you go high or medium priority, if we can spell it. Brilliant. So we've got that there. So we've got our three KPIs done. So what I'm going to do is I like everything to be uh, in proportion. So everything is the same width. So let's make this, because this has got the longest text. So if we use this as our, our baseline, go into properties and we can see the width there is currently 211. So let's do the same here. Let's go both of these properties width 211. And the height on this one, we can have a quick play around just to see what we're looking at. Like so there, probably about right. So let's go properties again. Height is 68. Let's do that for these ones as well. So height, 68. And then what I'll do is align this one first in the middle of the page. So you can see I've got our dotted lines. The first one you see there, because the dotted line only goes, what, two thirds of the height of the page, is because it's aligning with the slicer. If we go just to the right, you can see the dotted line is the complete uh, height of the page. So we know that this is now centrally uh, on the page or centrally aligned on the page as a whole. We can then have a play around with these till we get them about where we want. And yeah, I don't know if it'll probably work in this scenario, but if you to highlight all three of them, format, align, you could also do here align or distribute horizontally just so they're all evenly aligned. However, for me, I will just undo that because I want this one to be centrally on the page. Cool, so we're happy with that now as it stands. We can then bring our pie chart up ever so slightly and we'll also bring this visual up as well. Now, what we could do is, because obviously in this example, we've got our slicer at the top here. Uh, the first thing I am actually gonna do is just change the font. So let's go into title. Uh, we've got no title there. It's all on our category label or slicer heading, sorry. So let's go into here and change this for consistency to our other text, change that to a size 10. What we'll also do here is go into values. I think that's fine, but let's make that just slightly smaller. So I'm happy they all now fit in there. Now, what I like to do is often work with a, a gray background. Now, again, depending on what report you're doing and what the context of it is, you may need to be or want to be different. However, if you deselect all your visuals, so you're just on the blank canvas, you can see we've got this option over here for formatting. If you just click onto that, and let's go down to canvas settings, Oh, you could change the size here if you wanted to. However, I'm gonna go into canvas background and just change that to a light gray. Note so light, it's not even worked. Let's try that again. Uh, canvas background, color, ah, there you go, I've fallen for myself. Change the color, but make sure you've got the transparency up. So at the moment it's 100% transparent. If you just play the slicer, you'll see how the background is now changed. So we could either make that zero and then make it a lighter color. Yeah, that probably works in terms of the example of this video. But and then what I like to do as well, again, personal preference is bring a shape in, nice square, and let's just have a play around here. So the shape, general effects, uh, where's it gone? So shape, style, yeah, fill is fine, but I don't want there to be a border and I want it to be a white fill. I'm gonna play around with this just to make sure it's about the right height as our slices, somewhere about there. And then I'm gonna extend this the length of the page. Deselect, reselect the visual, go to format, align, sorry, send backwards, send to back, deselect. And you can now see that we've got this nice little border as such for our slices. Then what we could do, we've got quite a bit of space to work with, I think there, maybe just 
bring it in ever so slightly and down a bit. Now what we can do is bring our other slices to align with that one, as you can see using those red dotted lines there, meaning we can now make our tight or our header ever so slightly smaller, maybe something like that. And there we go, a nice little header section there for our slices. And of course you've got space here to add even more slices, or you could add a company or logo at the top right here, or anywhere, uh, just to round that off nicely. So we'll just bring our little KPIs up one more time. We can just make sure everything's equally spaced. Pie chart, we'll bring you up here uh, like so, just so it fits in. Our graph we've got here, we can make this bigger. Again, I'm doing this very much on the fly, so I'm sure you could lay things out differently yourself with more time. So now make sure that's lined on the page like so. And lastly, let's just bring one more visual in. Uh, what should we work with? Let's, yeah, maybe let's use this table here. However, rather than having it as a table, let's make this into, or we've got a bar chart, should we use that? Yeah, we can use one of those just so we can see the visual or to use a slightly different visual. Uh, maybe let's make that that width, like this one a bit wider here, like so. Obviously that makes our bar, our chart a bit smaller there. Cool, so starting to take some shape, and then what we'll do with our table, because we've got this space at the bottom here, we can now go the width of the page. You'll notice I'm also just using those red lines to align our visuals, just again to keep symmetry. And what I also like to do where possible is the boundary you see around the side here. I visually like to try and make that equal all the way around, and of course in between these visuals as well. Uh, I think that's just about there for that one at the top. Uh, we can then make obviously our pie chart ever so slightly bigger and we can do that also here for our bars and then what we can also do if you wanted to is to select all of these we've got different types so we can't but of course you could go into these and change them as well to make sure that they were all the same width let's just finish this off now so go into our title and go get rid of some of so that says revenue by customer name and might help if we've got space in there as well. Font, we're gonna go for uh, the same uh, as we have elsewhere, and I think we went for a size. What size was this one? I'll go title, uh, size 12. So we'll go back into this one. Sorry for the, the flicking around. Let's put that into the center. And lastly, let's go into our Y axis, axis if I could say it, and our X axis, and just turn off the titles. If I could select it there and being really picky now let's just add data labels onto the end there as well and of course we've got far too much space at the bottom here for our table so again just for the uh, cosmetic element in this video here let's just make some of them a bit wider like so very lastly what I'm going to do is just go into effects let's turn our visual border on here got it there We'll do the same here where we've got did it and go visual border on. Visual border on for this one as well. And actually, you know, you know what? I think we'll leave that off. So let's take that off. Go into here, visual border, visual border. We've got the gray background, so we don't really need the border because obviously it does, uh, it borders itself by having the white as the fill color. Visual border, turn that one off as well. And there you go, by no means perfect, uh, but you can see we've started or ever so slightly changed the layout of our dashboard just to give it a bit more of a production feel. Uh, hopefully you'll agree this is the sort of thing or it's in more of a state that you would now start sharing this with other people. Uh, one other quick tip we can put in there, and I think I've said one more thing a couple of times now, is let's select this visual, go into formatting, so what we can do is if you go into the Y axis, so as you remember, X being obviously the horizontal, Y being the vertical, go into Y and let's go into here where it says max area width. What we can do is we can play around with this just to get this area with our category names wider. Um, you could go all the way up to 50%, uh, which for me is probably about right because they're quite long customer names. But yeah, you can obviously play around with this just to get to the, the correct width for your particular scenario. And obviously as we now condense some of these panes, 
you can see how our dashboard is taking shape. So hopefully that video was useful. I appreciate we've not really gone in, into anything too technical, uh, but I, needed, I wanted to have a play around with the layout, so I thought why not record it, and hopefully there was some good tips for you to use there uh, as well. If you want to see more videos from this series, you can find the link to the playlist in the description of this video, where you'll also find some other links if you want to download the source data that we're using in these videos. If you have any questions at all with this or future videos, please just drop a comment below the applicable video and I will get back to you as soon as I can. And lastly, if you do enjoy these videos, please don't forget to hit that like button. It's not only greatly appreciated by me, but it does help that all important YouTube algorithm enabling other people to also find these videos as well.